<laughs> I can see it. I can see you doing that. Sure, sure. Like I got a hit and you're like, yeah, slot that. All right, first slap the bed. Do I just slap it? Yep. Oh, And then how do we do it? Yeah. Yeah. No. warm. It's like, yeah, it's um something warm. Oh my god, you guys are so strong. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Ah. Yeah. Wait, do it again. I'm doing it on video. <laughs> okay. Just hand this in. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Wakanda. It's 2.30, we just, well, first we started with light code, amazing. It was really hot though, so I felt like I was melting while meditating, and I don't think I've ever experienced that before. So yeah, we saw, I don't know if it's saw, experienced light code this morning, it was amazing. And then we came back, we slapped the bag a few times, took a shot, took a shower, and then we got some food that we made at the Airbnb on Tuesday. So we're eating that really quick while we walk to uh, the Liquid Stranger Q&A. And then someone just gave us this. Can't show up. She said it's, she made it herself, right? Yeah. She homemade. Eucalyptus, bergamot, and peppermint. So cute. Like we just started walking. We just started leaving our campsite today. And people are already giving us things. So what was your favorite set last night? Well, that looked like strange set for It was yeah. good. It was it was amazing. And great news. Oh my gosh. I can't show because I'm holding Red Bull, but <laughs> I'm engaged! <laughs> oh. Love you! Can't believe it. I can't believe it. She proposed during a Liquid Stranger down tempo set at Wakan Festival. Can we just take a moment? <laughs> For how amazing that is. This has already been so great. And I never want it to end. I love small festivals. Me too. Like, we just listened to SFAM live while taking a shower. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, when do you ever get to say that you do that? <laughs> never! <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna go to the Q&A. So I've been following y'all since y'all announced it at that unce for Wakan and everything, and probably five years before that. What is it like to have that big of a weight, not only via your own fans, but from the fans, the community, the artists, and everyone behind looking at you as a label boss for Wakan and not only yourself? It's fine. It's a big responsibility that I take very seriously. This is a party for everyone else, but it truly is not for me because I need to hold that matrix and the space so that's what changes like the I feel the the more people that I touch and you know the more people who care about this the better work we need to do so I, I just take my I take this duty more and more seriously I find myself being actually more nervous for my sets yesterday I was like super nervous to go up and play because the whole day crushed so hard and I had the softest set like I I think you should never stop learning and it's a very, it's a dangerous place no but like uh, I don't look at myself as anything special like I'm a conduit like I I am a switchboard I'm good at that because uh, I can handle energy and then you send it out to people I don't I don't want to be special I don't want you guys' attention that's not what this is about it's a collective and so as long as i keep my my own ego out of the way 
uh, th that's the key, you know. And be able to run just greater amounts of energy through me, like a switchboard, and push it out to the right people. My name's Steve. I'm a little older. Uh, most of the people here. And I've only recently got turned on to EDM music by my son. I love it. Thank you. And uh, when I found out we were going to come to this festival, and I was going to get to share this with him, I paid him the hat. That's awesome. It's got, it's got you on it and LS Dreams, the first two bands that he turned me on to. And when I saw y'all set Wednesday, it really changed my life. I appreciate that. And I'm a dad myself. I have my 23-year-old son here at the festival too, so I know the feeling. It's a cool thing. Yeah, and um, good dad he energy. Camp, he came back to camp today, and LS Dreams had signed his hat. And it made me cry when I saw the joy on his face. I appreciate that. So my question is, will you make me cry? <laughs> I cry a lot. Um, emotion, energy in motion. Water, the flow of life. We men, traditionally, and you know, our fathers, I don't know how old you are, but I think uh, the younger generations of males are better at being more in, you know, it's more allowed today to cry and to show those things. And I think that's, that's very good because this is a part of who we are. There are no bad feelings. You sit with them, you go through them and they pass like the water. And if you cling on too much and start acting poorly that's one thing but no emotions are great and crying is a very healthy release i've been doing a lot of that the last couple of years i've lost my wife i'm sorry and to hear that Drake is who i have left but we've, we've come closer together and partially because of edm music and i just i love you speaking I love your message. I was born in 1960, so I consider myself a child of the 60s. There we go. So I went through the first hippie movement and loving this one. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for having me. I appreciate you. Man. Thank you. Any final thoughts? Anything you want to say? I really want to get through to you guys that this is a collective effort. And there's a selfish part in that too, because like the more I get that message across that every single individual of you guys matter greatly here and beyond when you go home, um, the better, more, more invested people are in something. And this is also for the record label or whatever you guys are doing. Um, the more invested you are in something, the better the results. And if you don't micromanage people, but you give them ownership over something, they're gonna go in way harder. So please remember that. Like, you guys look at me, I'm not special. I used to sit here on this chair. You guys are special. Go out now today and be those people. You help others, you make sure that people have water. You know, those little kind of acts of kindness. That's the important takeaway here. Yeah. That's what we're building, really. Okay. Thank you guys for joining us for this Q&A. Entering is different than we show with Mr. Liquid Stranger. You guys have a very happy time. We yeah. will see you Saturday. Thank you. What the fuck is that sound? That's wreck no. A lot of hating, but they can't pay the rent though. Can't pay the rent though. Yeah, I'm awake to the top like damn you. Catch a girl screaming loud, I stand you. Do a boomer on a beat and I'm brand new. Bitch, I'm brand new. Oh.
when I switch it to tempo. What the fuck is that sound? That's right now. A lot of hating, but they can't pay the rent though. Can't pay the rent though. Yeah, I'ma wait to the top like damn you. Got your girl screaming loud, I stand you. You a boomer on a beat and I'm brand new, bitch. I'm brand new. Lost motherfucking dog!
cut how we do out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Liquid Stranger and Wakanti, for having me out. This is such a fucking blast. You guys have the best fucking energy tonight. Thank y'all so much. Bring it, bro, this shit from here, my team is 